Adobe Flash Builder makes creating a new ActionScript project fairly simple. In this lesson, we'll examine a few ways in which to create a variety of AS3 projects from scratch. So within Flash Builder, if we select File and choose New, we get this list of different projects and classes and things that we can create. And within these are both the ActionScript project and ActionScript mobile project. The difference between the two are the target platforms. So if we were to choose an ActionScript project, we could target either Flash Player or Adobe Air, so it would create a Swift or Air file for us. If we were to choose an ActionScript mobile project, we could target Google Android, Apple iOS, or the BlackBerry Tablet OS. So we're going to choose just a simple ActionScript project here. So once we've chosen to create a new ActionScript project, we're presented with this dialog. We're able to give the project a name, so let's just call this AS3 sample. And here we can choose a project location. So we can create it within the default location, or we can choose to browse to a specific location. We'll just choose default for this example. And here we can choose the application type. So will this run within the web using Adobe Flash Player? Or will this run on the desktop using Adobe Air? We actually have a lot more options with Adobe Air. So let's choose that. And here we can choose the Flex SDK version. This really doesn't matter that much in terms of ActionScript aside from the compiler that's being used. So we can see here that Flex 4.6.0 requires Adobe Air 3.1. That's fine for this case. If you were targeting a specific SDK, you could do that. So you can see here, if I choose 3.6, we're targeting Adobe Air 1.5. Usually it's best to just leave that as it is because it's going to target the latest version of Air or Flash Player. So let's hit Next. And here you've got build paths. And within build paths, you can choose to include additional libraries if you want, different source files through the source path tab up here. And you can also choose ActionScript native extensions to include in your project. So what native extensions are, are code that's been written for a specific platform, so for Windows, or for Mac OS X, or Android, or iOS, or something very specific like that. And these a &E files have a specific interface that allows them to be sort of invoked and controlled through ActionScript. And it's really a great addition to the Flash platform because it lets you do pretty much whatever you want on any platform by using these libraries. And these are only to be used with Air, by the way. If you're targeting Flash Player, you're not going to have the option to implement native extensions. So the options down here, you can specify your main source code folder. Uh, we'll just leave that as default. Your main application file, so what the name of that is. Your application ID, so in this case I'd say com.josephlebrec.com. Dot AS3 sample, or something like that. Usually it's preferred that you use a reverse domain syntax for the application ID, similar to how you'd use it in a package definition. And then you specify your output folder here. So any of these folders can obviously be browsed to. So we'll hit finish. And now it's going to create all the different files and structures for us within Flash Builder. So you can see here within our source folder, we have a default package in which we have our main class. So here's our package, and we're importing Sprite because we're extending Sprite in this class. And then we're creating a new, new sample here. So this creates a brand new project for us with a default document class. In this lesson, we've seen how to go about 
creating a new action script project and set up some specific attributes of that project through the dialogues available to us in Flash Builder.